Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing good. So for this video, I am going to be showing you all of the outfits that I wore this week. I have really had fun with my outfits this week and so I wanted to show you guys how you can also do that as well just by you know incorporating different prints, different materials, different fabrics into your outfits as well. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay so the first outfit I actually think it might be one of my favourite outfits of the week. Just a very casual but super cute outfit and it is this one right here. So I am wearing this turtleneck top. I don't actually know where this top is from. I think it's from ASOS, but I'm not 100% sure of the actual brand that it is. So yeah, just wearing this lovely turtleneck. I love turtlenecks in the winter. I'm not really a massive fan of wearing scarves. And so I just find wearing turtlenecks and roll necks just a lot easier because your neck is still kept warm and you haven't got those like restrictions that you feel when you're wearing a scarf. It's in this like, forest green color which i think is so nice these are the really easy ways that you can add a little bit of fun to your outfit so rather than just getting a typical black turtleneck or gray turtleneck try and incorporate different colors that are also neutrals as well okay so moving on these jeans i love these jeans i got them in recently from weekday they are their curved jeans i think they're the curve curve absolute jeans if i remember correctly but yeah they are a high-waisted wide leg jean and they basically just help to give you that like hourglass shape all of the jeans that i absolutely love that i wear all of the time they are all of my jeans that i have got from weekday on the feet we have my super super cute leopard print loafers that i got from zara i was really excited to wear these loafers this day i was like yep the time is now, I am ready to wear my loafers. And another thing that I really love is the drop of the jeans on the loafer. I think it just looks so good. Like the way it just drops just so nicely on the shoe. And so just to add a little bit more fun to the outfit, I decided to wear this jacket that I've got. This is from Urban Outfitters. I don't think that I've ever shopped in Urban Outfitters in my life but I saw this jacket on their website. I think it was either last year or the year before and I literally fell in love with it. It is reversible as well. So obviously it's not super practical for winter in terms of like if it's raining, for example, but on the days when, you know, it's those crisp winter days where the sun is shining, but it's still absolutely freezing. This is the coat that I will be wearing. It is super warm looks really good and i just love everything about it oh i forgot to include my bag it's from uniqlo this bag in terms of cost per wear has really been getting you know bang for its but i use this bag at least three to four times a week perfect so yeah really really love this bag okay so next up we have another loafer outfit these are just some black very plain tasseled loafers that i got from office i got these in the sale i would definitely say that if you are looking for a good pair of you know real leather loafers you should definitely check out office they always have really good ones at affordable prices you can get some that are still in the sale and they are super comfortable they're real leather you know that they're gonna you know stand the test of time which is what we want so i am wearing them with these weekday jeans yes another pair of weekday jeans that i absolutely love these are their row jeans so again they are quite high-waisted but they are more of a straight wide leg really really good jeans that just falls so nicely on a pair of loafers so for my top i am just wearing this long sleeve crop top from zara i have it in this like white kind of cream color so i decided to pair it with this lovely just very simple knit cardigan this is actually h&m men's ladies do not be afraid to shop in the men's section especially when it comes to knitwear so think your cardigans your jumpers your sweatshirts my jacket i think i've mentioned this jacket before in one of my previous videos but this is just a very plain black coat and this is from H&M so I got this in the sale but unfortunately it isn't real wool I am looking to invest in a proper wool coat 
simply because I know that it's much better quality than this one. Okay, so in terms of my accessories, so I wore this lovely belt with gold hardware. This is from ASOS. It is my favorite belt. <laughs> I've only got like three belts, to be honest. It just goes to show just how much you can improve an outfit by adding a belt. Like, you don't underestimate the power of a good belt for your outfit. And to keep in theme with the gold, I went for this bag that I've had for quite a few years now. It's from Charles and Keith. But having had this bag now for a little while, I can say that it is quite good quality especially for a bag that is faux leather as well and even though it is quite a simple outfit I feel like the way that I've styled it and added those few little different accessories has really brought it to life and I think that it looks really really good okay so when I told you guys that I am very much a casual babe we have got on the weekday jeans again yes guys two days in a row I don't care I love to wear my clothes I love to get the most out of them I don't understand people that will just buy things and then never wear it again it doesn't make any sense to me and I decided on that day that I wanted to do a double denim look but I kind of wanted to do it with a little bit of a twist so I decided to wear it with this really gorgeous mesh top that I've had for ages this is from Topshop I really love Topshop's mesh tops like I've got two mesh tops from there and I definitely do get a lot of wear out of those mesh tops I just think they just look so so good you can dress them up you can dress them down and yeah I absolutely love them but obviously mesh tops in the winter it's not really convenient they are very thin and they're not going to keep you warm so I was like hmm why don't I wear this mesh top underneath the denim shirt and that is exactly what I done and I think that it just looks really really good it's just a great way like I said to just add a bit of something to the outfit just to make it look that little bit more interesting so I decided to pair it with this green bomber jacket that I've got this is from DKNY got this from Vista Village last year and it definitely has been one of my most worn jackets mainly because this jacket is very very warm and for the price that I paid for it I was super super happy it is such good quality so the denim shirt that I'm wearing that is from ASOS and then again I am wearing my Uniqlo bag I told you guys I wear this bag often it is such a good bag it holds so much stuff like me and my friend we both wore this bag because my friend has it as well she's got it in yellow we both wore our Uniqlo bags to carnival and we were able to fit in all of our like drinks and everything in there so yes these bags definitely do hold a lot of stuff. And then last but not least on my feet, I am wearing my Adidas Gazelles. So when everyone was going crazy for Sambas, I decided to purchase a pair of Gazelles. One, because I heard that Sambas are not that great if you've got quite wide feet. And although I don't have like wide feet as such, my feet are a little bit on the broader side. And so I just thought, you know what, let me get a pair where I haven't really heard those kind of reviews. And it was the Gazelles. And they basically look extremely similar. And I have really enjoyed wearing my Gazelles this year. Almost to the point where I'm like, oh, do I need to get another pair? So we'll see. I got them in white because, you know, I want them to go with everything. But then I like that like casual feel that they have as well with the rubber sole. I just think it just looks so, so good. So yeah, another outfit that I absolutely love this week. Okay, so moving on to the next outfit. This outfit was actually inspired by my Air Max 97s that I am wearing because I saw a video on TikTok basically saying that like girls that wear these trainers are considered mandem. So yeah, I just thought to myself, well, I'm a girl that wears these trainers. Am I considered mandem? No. I make these trainers look girly, I make these trainers look cute and so that is exactly why I decided to wear them on that day and I decided to pair them with these leather trousers so as we know leather trousers in the winter is just a thing, it is a thing, if you don't have leather trousers you need to get some leather trousers, you need to make sure you're wearing them this winter these ones that i'm wearing they're from asos maybe when i feel comfortable i will fork out 
300 pounds to buy some real leather trousers so i love when i'm wearing something that looks a little bit you know manly or androgynous or um a bit too edgy i like to pair it with like something quite feminine and quite girly so that is why i decided to wear this outfit with this really nice knit jumper that i've got from mango just wanted to add that pop of color and still give that kind of like girly vibe if that makes sense because i don't know after people were saying that the trainers look like mandem obviously i'm wearing like baggy trousers and i also have a new era hat on as well i just wanted to add in that little bit of fun that i felt like the outfit was missing i felt like if i wore this with a black jumper it definitely would not have the same effect so this is why it's important to figure out like i said how you can add those little pops of fun to your outfit but still you know present yourself in a way that feels comfortable for you so again we've got the h&m coat and we've got the uniqlo bag making another appearance because like i said i wear this bag a lot and yeah i just love the vibe of this outfit it's giving you know like street style it's giving fun and it kind of just gives everything that i want and like in an outfit i like things that are girly but i also like things that are quite edgy and i also like things that are casual and comfortable so yeah this is the epitome of that in one outfit and also another reason that i wore the hat as well was because it was an extremely rainy day that day and i didn't want my hair to get wet so use your accessories to your advantage guys so this outfit i wasn't 100 percent sure about it but i decided to still include it in the video just to show you guys just how just how like thinking outside of the box can improve your outfits especially when you're not 100% sure about them so this skirt I have had this skirt for a very long time it's a um, faux leather skirt from warehouse and the last time I wore this was in Dubai and I I've only really worn it with um, heels and like a dressier top so I wanted to see how I could kind of make it a bit more casual so the skirt was the main focal point basically and I built the outfit around the skirt to ensure that it was still casual I decided to pair it with one this sweatshirt that I've got this is from ASOS and two these chunky boots that I've got these are a dupe of the Bottega ones and these are also from ASOS as well again with the top I decided to go with a color that's still neutral this kind of like green tone to this top works really really well with my jacket so you would have seen the jacket from before this is the urban outfit as one that I was telling you about that is reversible so I decided to wear it on the other side this day and I wore it on the suede brown side love 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 i love the suede brown against the green i think it looks really really good it was another rainy day and i just didn't want to get my hair wet so i decided to pair it with this black hat and <laughs> i just don't think that this hat is my style anymore if i were to change this outfit i think i would wear a different hat basically but yeah it all got brought together it was all about the skirt but obviously making it that little bit more casual and i do think i achieved it but i'm not 100 percent sure that this whole outfit is my vibe i feel like snippets of the outfit are my vibe but together i'm not 100 percent sure try and think of like other ways that i can make this outfit a little bit more of me okay so this outfit was just me <laughs> me being super eager to wear this leopard print hat now i've had this leopard print hat for maybe a year now and i think i've worn it once or twice and then i also remembered that i had this jacket which is a real leather jacket it's like a really like dark like chocolate brown color i bought this at a thrift event that i went to a couple of months ago i decided that the jacket and the hat were going to be the outfit basically so i wasn't really that fussed what i was wearing underneath just as long as it looked good it fitted the vibe if you know if i were to take off the jacket but i wasn't really that concerned so yeah i decided to you know put some tights on and put on this short mini skirt that i've got this is from bershka and then the jumper that I'm wearing is just a very plain basic kind of 
beige color jumper from H&M. I decided to button the jacket all the way up to the point where the jacket almost looked just like a leather dress and I just think it just looked so good. It worked so well with the hat, it worked so well with the boots and the tights. It was just like the perfect outfit. And this outfit for me just definitely screams my kind of vibe. I absolutely love it. So for bag, I decided to keep in theme with the like fur accessories and I paired it with this fur bag that I've got from H&M. Again, it's just, you know, it's black, it's fur, it's very simple. It goes with like, <laughs> all of my outfits basically and so that was one of the main reasons why I bought this bag so it is actually included in my H&M haul that I done a few weeks ago so I will link that video so that you guys can check it out but yeah one of my favorite purchases of this year this cute little bag okay and then the last outfit that I wore was this outfit where I incorporated some, you know, like winter whites, winter creams back into my wardrobe. So, you know, for a lot of people, they may feel like they can't wear bright colors in the winter because it's almost like, it almost feels a bit wrong. You know, the days are gray. A lot of people kind of just like go towards a lot more darker colors. Whereas these white jeans or these cream jeans that I've got from Mango, I just felt like they were the perfect fit for the outfit that I had envisioned in my mind. So what I love about these jeans is the fit of them. I love wearing them with like heeled boots. I just think it looks so good. So I paired it with these heeled boots that I have had. I feel like I've had these boots for like 10 years. I'm not even joking. I got them from ASOS and it's by a brand called Z Code Z that I have never seen again on ASOS. So I, I'm assuming that Z Code Z does not exist anymore. So yeah, I paired them with jeans and I just feel that they just work so well. And then I just thought, okay, how can I incorporate a bit more fun to the outfit? So because of the, um, you know, cream of the trousers, I didn't want to wear too many like different colors i feel like it could overshadow the trousers and so i decided to just wear it with this turtleneck another turtleneck because i absolutely love them for winter so this one is from h&m and it is striped black and white and i just thought do you know what that is perfect it's going to work really well for this outfit because you know i wanted to kind of keep all of the same colors across the whole outfit. So I paired it with my H&M coats once again. Told you guys, if you just get a really good staple in your wardrobe, you will end up wearing it again and again and again. So I decided to go in again with the fur bag, the black fur bag from H&M. And that was mainly just to add a bit more, to add a different texture to the outfit because I felt like even though the outfit looked nice visually, I felt like there was something missing. And so adding the bag, I was like, yes, this works now. This has all come together really, really nicely. And yeah, again, this just goes to show you don't need to wear dark colors in winter. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this and got some inspiration for some of your winter outfits that you may want to wear. If you did like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my forthcoming videos. But yes, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.